What is going on guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. Before we kick off this video, we got some information, some exciting news to drop to you guys. We gotta make it quick though because we got a ton of stuff to do tonight and we're gonna have a very, very busy week here on the channel so I hope you guys are ready for that. But, some exciting news. We just released the Ducket stickers. We just opened up the website where you guys can start repping the Ducket decals again. You guys blew these things out of the water last year. We're gonna open them up, start selling them again. So we got the original design in the Ducket. You can get a six by eight, which this is right here, a four by six or a three by four. So you guys know we got tons of support on these things last year. So we figured we'd release them again. You guys know I rep a color matched silver ducket decal on my silver sport truck which we're actually going to be driving right now over to the twins house with this truck but new website has launched today new colors available new redesigned website i launched on my snapchat and instagram earlier today so make sure you guys are following those for all the important news updates on the truck you guys know we got the backwards hat design available as well and by the way one more size we do offer is a three by four which is just smaller maybe put on your cabinets in the shop things like that we do have tons and tons of colors man I couldn't be more excited to bring these stickers back to you guys. I know you've been asking for it for a very long time. All right, so first order of business on this very, very busy day is opening up our box because we got a lot of things we need to do and install before we head over to Bruce Wilson's shop in Zephyr Hills, Florida. You guys know Bruce Wilson. He's got a YouTube channel, built the P-Pump truck, converted this truck to a P-Pump. So we got a lot of things to do. We're heading over there tomorrow. Make sure you guys are staying tuned for those videos we're going to be doing with Bruce. And we got, of course, our ARP head studs for the P-Pump truck. If you guys didn't know, I'll place a link right here in the corner of the screen where you guys can check it out. I do have an install video on the ARP head studs. Just keep in mind, that video was a long time ago, so uh, we may try to video a little bit tonight to get some better quality video on it because I think I had like a GoPro back then and I was new to YouTube, so wasn't really the best YouTuber. That was like one of my first videos was the ARP head studs but nevertheless I do go step by step I probably won't actually I know I won't be doing that this time I won't be going step by step this time so if you want to know step by step how to install head studs on a 24 valve Cummins make sure you guys check out that link that I placed up there in the corner but we got our torque sequence very very easy doesn't take it's not hard I will say it takes a minute to do only because it's tedious process so we got I believe there's like 24 or 26 of them in total, something like that. Uh, lubrication, all of our head studs, all of our fasteners, 12 point heads on them. We got all of our washers. Probably lay these things out in a row. And yeah, not much to say about them, guys. We got our head studs here. We got to get these things thrown in the truck tonight and maybe finish them up in the morning, but hopefully we can finish them up tonight. And yeah. Be working on these things tonight. Get some video for you guys, but that's not what this video is going to be about. We actually take you guys off the tripod. We actually have to head to the twins' house right now to pick up our powder coated parts. We aren't going to be driving the P pump truck over to the twins' house. Uh, Chase did come over here and check out the truck, so he has already seen it in person. But we will be taking the sport second gen over there only because I don't want to obviously get this truck super, super hot before I start taking, you know, rocker arms and things like that off. So that's what we're gonna do. We will see you guys once we get to the twins' house. See you when we get there. Yeah. Come on, bud. Watch out, girl. Hey, get dog, get out of there before you burn up. <laughs> she doesn't care, man. Yeah, no, she doesn't care at all. Woo! So we just got the base. Just got the black done. Yeah, uh, yeah. So now that you guys can see it, the secret is out. Of course, we went with our banks intake elbow again. Of course, we got to get it color matched powder coated he just like he said put the base coat on it so far this is the very early stages of course we're going silver and black lettering so what you get the black lettering done spray your black lettering mask it off but because of these are raised letters we'll just be able to let this cool down spray the silver on it once the silver on it you can just take it take the thumb wipe a couple letters off at a time wipe the thumb off and just do it all the way down it makes it a whole lot easier than masking it and you won't get any cut lines in your powder either Hell yeah. So if you guys want to see a full powder coat video, we go step by step. We're obviously not going to do that today just for time purposes, but up here in the corner, I'll put our full powder coat video. If you guys want to know, start to finish with his, uh, what's the powder coat machine name? Oh, uh, that's Norton. Norton. With his Norton powder coat machine, his self-built oven that he has in his shop. Make sure you guys check out that video. He goes, we go step by step in that one. There's all the magic dust. Yep. Should really be wearing a mask. The, but, I mean, you know. the gold magic. 
Well, if you guys wanted an update on the valve cover, the guy chose Pusher Green, which is, if you guys didn't know, same color as that toolbox or very, very similar to it. He chose Pusher Green, I believe, on the lettering. Was that? I yes. can't remember. On the lettering, I think it was Pusher Green. And then on the outside, I have to look at the video game, but on the outside, I believe he chose Intense Blue or Intensity Blue. Yeah, and uh, that yeah, one, yeah. Intense yeah, Blue, one. Just Intense. And I left it up here to show you guys. So that... That is going to be the outside of the valve cover that they give away winner one. The only thing we're waiting on, we're trying to get this done as soon as possible, but we have to wait on the pusher green color because he is out of stock of that. One of the only colors he's out of stock of, uh, the giveaway winner chose, but not a big deal. We've already been in communication with the giveaway winner. He's fine on the way. It's going to be a little wait, but he's aware of it already, so figured we'd show you guys that. We'll be back over here to record that whenever they get that shipment in of colors. So, but yeah. Just cleaned out his gun, getting ready to spray, and we'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. If you guys haven't been over here before, checked out one of my videos over here. They got all sorts of stuff going on at their shop. Make sure you guys are checking them out at Iron Ape Coatings and Fab on Instagram. And then I believe it's the same tag. I'll put it on the screen right here for their Facebook. They're located in Bonifay, Florida. So if you guys ever need any powder coating or diesel work done, make sure you guys are hitting them up. These are some wheels they did a long time ago for our buddy Skyler's truck. It's the white fourth gen that we still haven't done a video on because Honestly, it's always crappy weather every time we go over here, uh, but we need to still plan that video out. We'll go over there and take a look at it here in a second, but these are the bronze wheels they did. They're actually going to repowder coat them another color because Skyler wants to change it up for this year. But they got Colton's lift kit all on, powder coated. You guys know he did go with the rough cut. Well, you can't even see it right there. You can kind of see it maybe from the side here, but I love that purple color. I think that's like illusion purple or something like that. I'm not really sure. But nevertheless, that color looks freaking sick, dude. And here's the rest of his lift kit right here. They just got to put that on. Tracks for their side-by-side. -side. They got side-by-side -side dirt bikes, motorcycles, everything over here, man. You guys know this is the Brown Pearls first gen. Probably the sickest first gen I've ever seen in person. This thing is absolutely sweet, man. Almost done with that truck. It's going to look really, really good when it's done. And then of course got our buddy Skyler's truck here. Um, you guys know it. It's getting a 500 series turbo. It's getting compounded. Very very big turbos on here, man. Transmission is just lying everywhere. Got a 12 valve comes right here. Some more. You got a 500 series turbo and a transmission. So, but yeah, these trucks, whenever they're done, are gonna turn out really really good. Got his third gen, of course, my second gen. And if it would ever stop raining, we want to go shoot some videos out in the back where they have some more trucks out there that I think you guys really like. All right, guys, here's the final product when it goes into the oven. Once it bakes, we'll see what it looks like. It should turn out great, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly how it kind of looks before it goes into the oven. So now it'll go into the oven, bake at what degree? 400. 400 for, was it 20 minutes? Yes. All right, so 400 for 20 minutes. We'll check out with you when it's done. All righty, guys, this is how she turned out. I think she turned out great. Chase did an awesome job. That two stage is going to look really nice next to the valve cover. You guys know we got the valve cover. The same two stage black. Uh, we got the gloss black and then we got the really nice silver. So we're going to let this part cure. We actually have a little, not I wouldn't even call it an issue. Just uh, whenever, hold on, let me wipe the lens. It's got a little powder coat on it. But um, wouldn't even call it an issue. But we ran into the studs that come with the bank's elbow. They're a little bit too short because we have the P-pump conversion. And so to clear the fuel lines, we'll show you when we get back to the house. But we're going to actually end the video out probably here because we aren't going to be able to throw this thing on tonight. The store is already closed. We're going to get some all-thread steel. Uh, what y'all doing? I'm going to get that on video. Y'all being yeah, good? Like, like, it's 2018, man. This is cool now, right? 
mean, I, get, I don't know. It's, it's, just, not, it's not cool with me. I know. Uh, <laughs> oh, me too. Me. Movement. Yeah, me too. Me. Bitch, I didn't touch you. You were touching me more than I was touching you. But we're gonna get some get stuff in the morning. Uh, the shop's already closed where we buy it from. But uh, we're gonna get it put on the truck in the morning. So we're gonna end out the video here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video to see this thing thrown on the truck. Sorry we couldn't do it tonight, but like I said, we gotta get some longer bolts or studs because it doesn't clear the fuel lines because we have two spacer blocks. We have it we got the heater delete block and then we got another spacer block. You guys will see when we get back to the house. But I think it turned out great. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think, how it turned out. I think it turned out freaking awesome. And leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed the video. And with all that said, thanks for making it all the way to the end. Make sure you're checking out the Ducket decals that we released again today we opened up the website for you guys to enjoy them so make sure you're checking those out but with all i said hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you guys in the next one